Hey, clients are super excited about the course we have in upcoming uh, that we'll be embarking on for the next eight weeks. It's Strategic Management and Policy Business 480s. We're going to cover a lot of really exciting topics and uh, as we go through the class together. Wanted to take a minute to take a look around the, the classroom, um, just point out a, a few key uh, items to address. I'll also uh, address, uh, I'll also uh, post a video that uh, shares a little bit more about uh, my, my background from my education and work experience, etc. But for here, let's check it out. All right, so, um, you know, each week over week, you'll have um, your discussion questions that you'll uh, participate in. And um, so for each discussion question, your initial post, you want to make sure that you support your comments with a reference. So uh, address the, the topic and then make sure that it's supported by course material uh, to get full credit. Also, uh, be sure that you, you know, you respond to your peers throughout the week to also get uh, your full credit and keep the conversations going. So that's uh, your weekly discussion questions. I also want to take a minute here to also point out under support resources, <clears throat> Actually, course resources is your syllabus. Uh, on the syllabus, make, please make sure that you review that uh, first thing if you haven't already, because in the, the syllabus, it has uh, information here that you'll want to be familiar with if you're not. Uh, some of the basics are the learning outcomes for the course, course requirements, uh, the overall grade evaluation points, course assessment, how it's broken down, and the uh, grading rubric. So when you have an assignment and even your weekly uh, discussions, it will instruct you what to do to complete it. Also ensure you look at the assessment rubric to ensure that you cover items in the rubric that may or may not be covered in the specifics of your assignment. Uh, please remember that and um, how I grade your assignments and discussion questions are based on the rubrics because you know it's uh, that's electronic and what I grade uh, these are pre-populated and that's how you will get your points so always be sure when you do an assignment and even your discussion questions you check the rubric to ensure that you have everything covered to uh, optimize the most points that you can get for assignment and discussion questions <clears throat> all right also all your um, assignments, um, if they're you know a, a written uh, assignment, say a paper, uh, it's uh, well all your assignments are, need to be uh, in APA format. And on your papers, um, you want to make sure that you have the proper uh, title page, which I will also post in the announcement section. Um, I'll also post an APA video that just uh, walks through some of the specifics of APA. Uh, all your papers, like I said, will have the proper uh, title page. All your papers will have an introduction on what you're writing about. And also the body of your assignment, you want to use at a minimum level one headings. I can't, I can't emphasize how important that is. Level one headings will take you through the, the main ideas of the paper. And then also a paper conclusion, any, any references. So be sure that uh, you, um, if, that's, if that sounds foreign, uh, make sure you watch the video. And also the, the university also provides access to tutor.com. Tutor.com has a lot of great information on APA that you can check out. And the, of course, the, um, the, uh, the uh, university also provides information around APA. So there's plenty of information out there. If you have any questions about APA, please reach out to me. I'm more than happy to take the time to walk through the basics. And our papers here in class are not that long. So really it's just, it's mastering the basics. Um, and in getting, uh, on that note, in getting in touch with me, uh, you can either email me, text me, or you know, ask your professor here. Probably the best way is to email me, and then secondarily is to text me. If you do text me, please just uh, let me know, uh, you know, who who it is that you're texting, and um, then we can go from there. Okay, uh, let's see what else. 
that I think is what I wanted to cover just in, to say hello, introduce the class. Make sure you do keep an eye on the announcements because I will be I will be posting announcements throughout the course, which is important because I want to communicate a message to everybody. Super excited about our course that we're going to have over the next eight weeks. I hope you are as well. And again, uh, feel free to reach out anytime. I'm more than happy to have a conversation with you about uh, any of the items in class or maybe something you're struggling with. Thank you. Uh, have a blessed rest of your day and I look forward to talking to you in class. Thanks.